Hi everyone, it's Doug from the OpenSUSE project. Uh, I hope you're having a good time at Academy. Uh, you know, there are always great talks at Academy and I look forward every year to going. Uh, OpenSUSE is uh, very excited to be a sponsor of this year's Academy. You know, once again, OpenSUSE has a long tradition of sponsoring Academy. And we have uh, a lot of people involved in both projects uh, who participate with uh, one another and um, help to make open source better. So uh, a few things uh, I wanted to mention um, about uh, the OpenSUSE project. And um, one might be uh, the fact that this weekend we are uh, also having our conference. Uh, this was sort of unplanned where uh, where the dates aligned with one another. But either way, there's, there's great talks at both conferences. So uh, I hope to see you at uh, the OpenSUSE conference, and I hope to drop into Academy occasionally um, as I'm, I'll be running that. But uh, a little bit of news about the OpenSUSE project. Recently, we announced uh, and, and, and released uh, Leap 15.3. Uh, big news about Leap 15.3 is it, it is fully um, compatible with uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise. So those developers, those um, those hackers, those you know people uh, in the in the industry who are looking to um, to have an option to be able to upgrade to an enterprise product if they need to uh, can look at uh, OpenSUSE Leap 15.3. Uh, it is uh, it is uh, does not currently have a, a successor planned. Um, there is uh, progress that's already been started on 15.4, um, and so you know there could very well be a 15.5. Um, at least that's where things are looking right now, um, but. You know, this is a, a, a Linux distribution, well-known Linux distribution um, that has uh, some longevity, and it's uh, one of it's our stable stable release. We also have Tumbleweed, uh, and I, I just recently, a couple hours ago, finished uh, writing a story about uh, Plasma 5.22 um, and that being updated in Tumbleweed, uh, and it, it really looks good. Uh, I, of course, I, I I use a lot of the words that uh, that the uh, uh, great people who developed the release announcement for KDE uh, used, and so um, looks very nice. And uh, you know, the thing with OpenSUSE is, uh, you know, you have some you have some good options. You can go with Leap, you can go with uh, Tumbleweed um, as a rolling release. But uh, you know, these these uh, projects that OpenSUSE has are, are really to benefit the entire ecosystem. So. Once again, hope you have a great time at Academy, and uh, I'll see you around. Hello, everyone. My name is Reese Davis. I'm a developer advocate for Ubuntu at Canonical on the new rebooted community team, which means it's my pleasure to make sure that we, that is Canonical, keep up the support for events and initiatives like this. Some of you may have seen me and my colleagues at LAS a few weeks ago, and my friend and colleague, Igor, who's presenting here too. Part of my mission, part of our mission, part of Canonical's mission as Ubuntu advocates is to make sure that we keep going beyond Ubuntu. We keep supporting and recognizing the kind of talent and passion we see at events like this one in the wider, broader open source Linux community. I believe supporting each other in this way and helping the various communities to grow, if done well and if done collaboratively, can have a positive impact and a really large effect on real people's lives, not just techies and developers and people who want it to code, although those people are included, but anyone who's interested in taking part, anyone who has a passion for these kinds of technologies, who, anyone who writes a blog post about it or a tutorial or runs a podcast. And the spirit, and in that spirit, uh, while I have this stage and hopefully some of your attention, I would love to invite anyone who's presenting or speaking or, de or delivering a workshop at this event to reach out. If you think your topic could benefit from the Ubuntu megaphone or by being featured on our community platforms, let me know. I would love to reshare and even interview and maybe talk more deeply about anything that happens over these next few days, or since this is being recorded, it could be the previous few days. 
uh, if you want to talk about it in the context of Ubuntu or even in the context of wider open source communities, if you're interested, reach out to me. I'm uh, Reese. You can reach me at reese.davis at canonical.com. That's R-H-Y-S dot D-A-V-I-E-S at canonical.com. Or you can find me on Twitter or something, and I'd love to talk. Of course, I'm aware of how healthy and really quite lovely the uh, what I've seen of the KDE community is so far. I'm, I'm relatively new. This is my first KDE Academy. I would love to expand these community horizons and, and my own horizons and have you in on the Ubuntu community platforms for a chat or a deep dive or, or a workshop and, and really understand what's going on. If you're interested, as I say, get in touch or head over to ubuntuonair.com. That's Ubuntu on air, but without the spaces to see the kind of thing that I mean. Because while the KDE community is large and growing and the Ubuntu community is large and growing, there's so much we could achieve together. I'm sure there are people in the Ubuntu community who would love to learn more about what's going on in the KDE land, like me. And maybe uh, there's a case vice versa of people in KDE or in the KDE community um, who, would, who would like to know more about Ubuntu and what's going on over here. So as I say, please do reach out. But otherwise, as me, thank you again for having us. Thank you for, um, for letting me speak here. And it is our pleasure to help to sponsor this event. Thank you. Hello Academy. My name is Frederik Latron. I'm a principal unit lead at Remarkable. And yeah, this year Remarkable is sponsoring Academy. What is Remarkable, you ask? Our vision is better thinking through technology. But that may be slightly abstract and we need to start somewhere. So what we actually do is we create embedded devices looking like this and uh, it's digital paper. It's an embedded device and uh, it's there to uh, let you do note taking, a bit hard to do in front of the camera. Uh, I can draw, I can uh, make annotations and the whole um, setup is so that I can get my notes synced to my PC on my mobile um we really love great design we really aim for simplicity avoid all distractions and uh, bring all the good things about paper to the digital world um yeah everybody wants to grab your attention these days there's youtube facebook and all these other services and we take a different approach we want to actually rather enable you to focus and to think we have really exciting technology challenges. We built Linux devices and the whole thing from hardware design to the software uh, happens here in Norway. We have uh, challenges that are really cool and unique. So for example, we have the e-ink display, which has its uh, properties. We of course want to make a really great experience for the user that you feel like you're writing on paper, we need to draw fast enough because, well, if the line appears several seconds later, that wouldn't be fun to use. Um, we need to get the file synchronization to be really smooth uh, so your notes appear other places instantly. We need to, of course, pay attention to power management. We have a lot of stuff cooking that is really exciting. So we are actually having a lot of fun projects to work on. We do also have a pretty fun and modern tech stack. Uh, for some people it might be familiar, it's uh, cute. We have our own uh, scene graph on the device due to the electronic ink display. Uh, that's some of the secret sauce, um, how we get to render fast. We do use K-Archive, so we are very thankful for that, that it's out there. Um, some KDE technology is on the device. Yeah, it's C++ 17, you get to SSH onto the device, uh, so it's also fun to play with. Um, we are based in Oslo in Norway. Uh, the company got started here. We are growing and we are looking for people that might want to join the journey. And uh, so yeah, 
really fun stuff. I hope everybody's having a great conference and thanks again. Greetings from Remarkable. Thank you, Katie. Hi everyone, my name is Łukasz Ryczyński and I am the community manager at Pine64. For those of you who do not know um, of us and what it is that we do, well, we have a range of single board computers, compute modules, and a wide variety of ARM-based uh, devices running open software. We just recently released our newest single board computer called the Quartz 64, which is a platform which we have very big plans for moving forward. Uh, but I would suppose that most of you listening to this know us best for uh, the Pine phone, uh, a smartphone running full stack regular Linux with open drivers. We have been working with KDE as well as uh, Manjaro Linux to make this happen. And as some of you probably know, we currently have all our uh, flagship devices. So notably the Pinebook Pro and the Pinephone uh, shipping with their respective um, Plasma user interfaces atop of Manjaro. Uh, and we have been working very closely with KDE on this. And especially in the past couple of months, we have been absolutely blown away by the progress which has been made. So I'll keep this short. For those of you who are interested in what we do, um, we foster a very large and very friendly a, and particularly uh, active uh, community. Uh, which is accessible on our forums and chats and elsewhere. And anyone is welcome to take part. We include community members in our decision making. We ask for feedback, so forth and so on. So there is always a dialogue directly between us and our end users, as well as the developers from partner projects who are also part uh, partaking in this. So everyone's welcome. Join in if you're interested in what we do. And I wish you all a very good and fun academy this year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alex Lee. I'm the CEO of Shells. I uh, want to take a quick opportunity here to thank Alesh and the rest of the KDE team for putting on this event. Uh, enjoying being a part of it and, and looking forward to uh, all the other activities that, that come with the event. So thank you again. So Shells is a you know virtual desktop solution. We offer, a, it's a subscription-based model where we have different plans uh, for both monthly as well as annual plans. But, um, you know, simply put, we offer a virtual machine that can be accessed from any web enabled device as uh, you can access your, your shells machine from a uh, browser which gives you the ability to access it from you know whether it's a uh, ipad or tablet a smartphone um, you know a chromebook or even smart tv you can essentially access your shells machine from any of those devices we also offer desktop and mobile apps as well too to, to give that option. So we've we've real worked really hard on optimizing our technology and getting to a point where basically you can access your your virtual desktop from any device in seconds. So, uh, like I mentioned before, it's a little literally just opening up a browser, logging into your account, and then you know clicking to open your shell. And literally in that time that I spoke. You would also have a shell opened up where you could do whatever work you needed to and it would be right where you left off because your machine would stay on um, as long as you wanted it to so in terms of the different solutions that we offer so you know our primary product being the virtual desktop where you know we do offer over 20 operating systems so this is where you know i think 
um, we've tried to set ourselves uh, differently from others and in, in offering multiple Linux distributions as, as well as Windows, um, even Android OS is an option. The other option is if you choose to, you know, you want to run a virtual private server, we do have options for that as well too. You know, you can get your own IP address and, and essentially, you know, run whatever you need to run um, as you would a typical VPS service. And then finally, uh, with our Android OS option, we have been working hard on creating the virtual phone. So this is something that we're continuing to work on, but essentially, you know, we, we have the opportunity to provision phone numbers and so on. So you could have a situation where it's almost like a, a phone in a phone by, by opening up shells within a mobile app on your phone or again on the browser as well too. So as I mentioned earlier, we've been working, uh, you know, to offer multiple Linux distributions. And, and you can see here, we've announced a few different partnerships, uh, you know, with KDE, as well as uh, MX Linux, Linux Mint, OpenSUSE, as well as Manjaro. Uh, one of the things that we've been real focused on is that the distros that we're offering have been, um, you know, that essentially we collaborate and work together with the different uh, distros to make sure that we're creating an experience that they feel comfortable with, that we feel comfortable with, that that's just going to be as seamless as possible, um, you know, when virtualized. So a um, couple other notes, right? We do own all, our, all of our own hardware. Um, you know, we have open sourced some of our scripts and we'll continue to, to release more as we go on. Uh, we are rolling out more server locations right now. We have four in the U.S., Amsterdam, and then as well as Tokyo, and we're looking at opening up in Frankfurt as well as Korea. And, um, you know, we're, we're really excited. We're really happy with the, um, you know, the, the, the work that we've done with all of the different uh, distros, the community. It's, it's been great. Uh, to be able to really collaborate and, and we really appreciate, you know, the, the work that we've been doing together with all these different groups, the partners that we mentioned, and, and we have ongoing work going on with, you know, the folks here mentioned, Cali, Zorin, um, Deepin, Gnome, Endless. So, you know, there's several of these other distributions we're also working very closely with. So when you look at our technology, you know, we... We do utilize the SPICE protocol for the remote access. Um, you know, we're, we're really happy with the way we've gone in terms of our network infrastructure, where it's really built for growth. It's this plug and play model, as we'll call it. So, you know, if we need to add locations, we've really simplif not, well, simplified the process to, to make it as seamless as possible. Um, you know, as we mentioned, we've open sourced our image build scripts. Uh, we're, we're continuing to enhance our ability to build, run, and share your own custom images within Shell. So that's something we're continuing to enhance and optimize, and, and we're really excited about that. And then finally, in terms of privacy, obviously that's that's always a question with uh, anything that's being hosted in in the cloud. And you know, we do have the same privacy standards as as you expect from you know, other cloud providers such as Dropbox and DigitalOcean. And, and, and obviously we're always looking for ways to improve uh, our users' security and privacy. And then finally, just a few things in our roadmap, right? So we, we launched at the beginning of the year, we've been announcing the different partnerships. Uh, you know, we do offer Windows as well too, as another option. We've We've made a few other enhancements to different features. Um, you know, we have our school pilots that are ongoing. And then kind of looking ahead, you know, we talked about the virtual private servers, the phone solutions. Um, Enterprise has popped up as a, as a big opportunity. We've had a lot of small businesses approach us just because of our, our price point and, you know, the ease of use of our product, which is definitely something we like to really advertise and, and push that we do have a very simple to use product. Um, you know, continue to announce additional partnerships and, and, and again, just working together with the community. So 
uh, you know, we're, we're really excited about the future and, and, and what it can bring because, you know, we do believe that, that the virtual desktop represents the future of computing and, and we definitely want to work together to uh, uh, make that happen. So, you know, thank you for your time. Um, for some folks next week, we're going to be uh, hosting a BOF on uh, July 23rd in, in room one at a 1600 UTC. So uh, looking forward to talk with everyone about, you know, the, the Linux virtual desktop and, and, and shells. So thank you again. Talk to you soon. Hello, my name is Alvaro and I work at Colabora. Let me try to give you an introduction to the company. Colabora is an open source company. We are dedicated to providing consulting services since 2005. We are based in Cambridge and Montreal mostly, but our people are all over the world and we are 100 people, over 100 people now. We have some big customers, but also some small startup companies. We try to offer solutions all over the range you need to have Linux running whatever device you, you have. So we offer services in graphics, multimedia, kernel and Linux core services. We also do a lot of integration and we offer platforms like Apertis or SteamOS or even building in Yocto. And we do a lot of image building for specific needs and also a lot of hardware enablement for specific devices. Our company motto is open first and we hold that very dearly. We work in, in the open by default and we try to contribute to upstream projects as much as possible. Here you can see some of those but there are many more that we try to upstream and contribute and keep in touch with. If you want to get in touch with us, you can check our website or email us or come talk to us in, during the office hours. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.